Rally Spain has always provided an intoxicating mix of fast plumbing roads lined with some of the world's most enthusiastic fans. Since 1991, the daunting stages of Catalonia have been home to this classic event, making these sections of tarmac some of the most recognisable in the world. The roads are more racing and really, for me, more enjoyable to drive. Really nice, smooth road. There's no pumps or anything really, so uh, it's really like uh, racing all the time. The roads stay more clean all the time and it's it's much more like a um, circuit style uh, driving uh, all the time. It's, uh, it's different than you have no cut basically most of the places. Uh, it's, it's concrete or just a barrier on the side. Uh, you have nice flowing roads, uh, grip level is different, uh, it's a faster rally, uh, at least some sections of it and uh, wider roads so it's, uh, it's a totally different type of tarmac rally. The tarmac stays clean, you can pick up the racing line and really the lines over there is affecting for the performance more than how you manage to do the cuts or no, it's, it's a poor tarmac driving. In 2010, the rally returned to its original roots as a mixed service event incorporating tarmac and gravel. This year sees Friday and Saturday's tests on full tarmac and the final day on Sunday switching to gravel. A difficult rally because we have to switch between tarmac and uh, gravel mode uh, on the last day and uh, yeah, this is something you need to be very prepared. The switch to gravel on the final day has caused somewhat of a stir amongst the teams as the cars will start Sunday morning stages in classification order. That means whoever is leading the rally will be first on the road and have to road sweep. As a result, we could see a return of yesteryear's slowing down road order tactics on Saturday night. Rally Spain has quite simply been dominated by the now retired nine times world champion Sebastian Loeb. The Frenchman has taken victory on Spanish soil since 2005, but in his absence this year we will see someone else on the top spot and Citroen's Danny Sordo at home on his local roads is an absolute favourite. Danny's really been in a pace on tarmac so it's going to be a big race for him and all the fans are going to love him over there. I'm sure Danny will be very quick, he knows the roads very well, uh, he has been quick. Uh, uh, in the past there uh, every year and it wouldn't be a surprise to see him winning this rally. This rally is always special no? because it's the event in Spain and it's a lot of supporters come, come to this rally to, to see the rally to support me and it's, it's really good and I want to, to try to win the rally one year in, in Spain. I will try to, to enjoy and the stages are really nice.